Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you to people that have watched the channel over the year, and especially those that have contributed via the comments or on Discord. It's been a while since I uploaded a video, and the main reason for that is that I've been pouring most of my spare time into learning the Fusion 360 CAD program and improving my 3D printing capabilities. I kind of realized that I needed to make the jump from SketchUp to something more powerful, and a huge thanks to Mike who gave me the push that I needed to get going. Sometimes I think you need to go back to basics before you can move forward, and that's been the process for the last few months. I think the hard work is starting to finally pay off though, and I'm hoping it will show in the Lightning Rods project and the 3D printed hardware that I'll be making this year. A quick example as to just how much more powerful Fusion 360 is over SketchUp can be seen with this camera mount that I made this year for mounting my Insta360 onto the front fork. This version here is with SketchUp and I did my best with kind of cutouts for the nuts and mouldings for the bolts um, and a multi-part design that clamps onto the front fork. But this is the version that I did much more quickly with Fusion 360. Um, it gives me much greater control and I'm finding that I'm able to much better represent my ideas in the final model. I've actually embedded the nuts in this one inside of the model and that way you don't lose them when you're trying to mount it onto the bike. Um, so you can actually see those going inside there. Um, it's just it gives me so much more control over what I'm doing with my models and it lets me scale them and alter them whenever I want because it's non-destructive which is awesome. If you're interested in trying CAD I totally recommend the uh, Fusion 360 this 30 day design program by Product Design Online and it's on YouTube and you can also get a fully functional version of Fusion 360 to use for free with a few restrictions but nothing major. But this video is about the new lightning rods bike so let's get on to that. Okay so don't hate me but I'm gonna say right off the bat that I don't actually have a lightning rods motor in my hands to show you at this moment. Um, this is an introduction video to the biggest project I'll be taking on in 2021. I do however have in my hands the frame that the LR motor will be going on, which is this Typhoon frame that I got from Vector eBikes. So I can talk about what's happening with it to get the LR motor installed. Um, running a motor at 10 kilowatts safely needs a frame that's much stronger than those that I've been using in e-bike conversions. So this is the Typhoon frame from Vector eBikes and it's been purpose built to take the kinds of stresses that a truly powerful mid-drive can deliver. The main body of this is a steel frame shell and it has welded reinforcements um, at key places. Uh, a lot of care you can see has gone into the design of this frame. Um, there's rubber sealants around here. Um, the bottom here, a uh, flat base for the battery. There's supports for your battery at the back here. Uh, there's rubber seals here uh, for your wiring looms. Uh, you can put straight, you, straight, I can't even talk. You can put a straight or a tapered fork in the front there. At the back here you have where the swing arm mounts on there. It makes it really easy to keep everything neat and tidy with the wiring looms which is great. quite like the finish on here. Um, I'm actually going to be making quite a lot of modifications to the side panels and I'm pretty sure in this massive space here I should probably get about 40 amp hour worth of battery in there, maybe a little bit more. But there's plenty of room back here for anything else that you might need, like uh, uh, maybe a butt converter for a lighting system. Lots of stuff you can do with it. This piece of hardware here mounts on the bike in these holes at the top. And this is the part that, as you can see, is going to take a seat post. And there is a reason why I've gone with the bicycle style seat post fitting. The final bike will be having a motorcycle style seat, but it will be mounted in a different way and for a very important reason but I'm going to save that for a future video when I've got more to show on it. Uh, the last major part of this kit and probably the most important is the swing arm and this carries the rear wheel and suspension and very shortly this is going to be sent off to Mike to be adapted to work with the lightning rods motor system. 
At the moment, the vast majority of these type of frames tend to get used with powerful rear hub motors like the QS205. So the dropouts that you can see here are set up essentially to work with that kind of system. There's no need to tension a chain because everything's driven off the hub at the back with the motor. So these dropouts are going to get adapted to the LR system and I'm going to have a few photos showing how that will look while this video is playing. Um, there is an option if you want to put pedals and there's like a standard, I think it's a 100mm bottom bracket that you can put in here. Um, but I'm going to be ditching the pedals for this bike. I have uh, quite specific goals for this machine and I think really like pedal assist on a 10 kilo or a bike with a moto seat I think will look as ridiculous as it sounds. But if you did want to do that the gearing can be set up so you would be able to pedal along and actually contribute but it's not what I want for this machine. Um, the drive Mike's building is going to be throttle only and it's going to be purpose built bike purpose built for high power and lots of torque. Um, so yeah, lots to come on this project as it takes place. I'm going to be posting lots of updates and photos on the Discord channel as well as video updates on the channel. Um, huge massive thanks to the Patreon supporters because it is funding from them that will be allowing this project to go ahead. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comments um, or you can go onto the Lightning Rods channel on the Discord and there will be a membership link in the Discord as well in the description. Um, so that's it for now, um, but there's going to be lots, lots more on this bike this year as it takes shape. Anyway, uh, again, Happy New Year and thanks very much for watching. Cheers.